Okay, so before I pack it all away, this here am I. Anyways, okay, so before I pack it all away, I'm gonna quick do a run through on all the gear I started with. I haven't sent anything home yet, but I will be in the next week or two. Um, and I've added a couple of things since I've been in here, and mostly it's health related, so I will add those at the end of the video. Okay, we're just going to start with the corner and go up and over. So we have the Tokes Titanium Spoon, Tokes Quick Kit, 750ml cup I think. It's got a little fuel canister, MSR Pocket Rocket 2, a lighter, and my flint and steel in here. I wanted a backup way to make fire just in case I got lost or something, um, but I will be sending this cook kit home. I don't like cooking. I have my rock bag for my food bag to hit bear bag it. This is a 35 liter bag. Um, I have two op sacks in there, one for trash, one for regular food, and some Ziplocs. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but I have partial dentures. This is to put my teeth in at night, and I put these in a separate op sack. Cnoc bladder, 2 liter, regular Sawyer, 750 milliliter bottle, 1 liter bottle. Hyperlite Southwest 3400 backpack. Um, that's my Garmin. And then the red clip is for my camp shoes. The purple one's an extra. My sit pad. Sleep system. We have the Cedar Ridge Outdoors um, zero degree bag. Cocoon travel pillow with the insulated or quilted side. Um, this is a Thermalite reactor sleeping bag liner. I might send this home. I'm finding I sometimes use it, I sometimes don't, and I don't really use it properly um, because I get tangled up in it. This is a stuff stack, stuff, stuff stack for everything. This is the um, Climate Static V, Insulated Static V sleep pad. And then these straps are for the sleeping bag. Um, I do wear a fanny pack, fanny pack from Hightail Designs. And inside of it, I usually carry my phone, my money, um, chapstick, and things like that. And these dragon stickers. It's just a quirky thing I do with um, trail logs in my journal. I have a shower cap. That's because I bring my shoes inside my tent. This is so my tent doesn't get dirty. Um, op sacks, one for my teeth, and one for like toothpaste and stuff that I, if I forget to put it in my food bag at night. This is my tent. It's a light heart solo tent. It's got the stakes in there, the tent, and this is the ridge pole for it to put the trekking poles in the ends. Electronics, extra batteries for my headlamp, two 10,000 um, anchor power things, headphones, this is an anchor wall charger, the 3.0 fast charger, I really love it, like diamond spot, and then in here, I have an eye track that I haven't figured out how to use this. I use with my phone to get my pictures and videos off, so I have a backup. And there's a cord for Garmin, and there's a lens cleaner cloth, and then I have a USB C adapter. And I have a Hyperlite small packing pod for my clothes and extra miscellaneous that I can fit in there. I really love it. It fits my backpack really well. Oh, I forgot to add. This is the ground cloth sheet Tyvek for the tent. So currently my sleep clothes is this sweater and these sweatpants. But I'm finding most nights in Georgia that it's a little too hot to wear this with the zero degree bag. But I'm keeping them because I know the weather in Smokies can be... A little chilly at times so until I get through the smokies I'll keep them and then I will send them home 
I thought I would use this as a sleep shirt. It's a thermal. I don't like it. It's too tight in the arms. This will go home. I don't know when, but it will go home. These are my gloves. I haven't had to use them yet. I almost had to use them one morning where it was really cold. So I'm going to keep them. I have used this on that cold morning. Two pairs of socks. Two pairs of underwear. Um, and then we've got, yes, I do the trail passport. I like it. It's a nice memento. The AT AWOL guide. I also have got hooks on my phone. This is like my first A kit. We've got vitamin I. I have not had to take any of that. Um, different gauzes and band-aids and whatnot. Athletic tape. Um, I did pick up from Hiker Box some moleskin because I did have blisters at the base of each toe, but I didn't really need it. Um, carabiner. Uh, these little twist tie things are for like gear and stuff. And then I have my blaze in here to keep them protected. Just a little pick me up. When I was in Greece, I got these keychains. One is of Athena and one is of Artemis. They're my favorite goddesses. I like having them along. They go in my clothes bag. Little bottle of Dr. Bronner's. Sorry if this video is kind of crap. I'm trying to get through this quickly because i got to pack up soon. Uh, hand sanitizer, body glide. I use this um, around the underwear region. I know that might be TMI, but that's where I sometimes get chafing. Clorox bleach wipes. I got the specifically bleach wipes because of the norovirus that was going around a few weeks ago. Um, I kind of use these as like a hiker shower sometimes at the end of the day to get the grime off of me. Toiletries bag, comb, toothpaste, toothbrush, razor, tweezers, little mirror, floss, toenail clippers, hair things. Um, one of this is a pee rag, so when I go pee, that's my toilet paper. <laughs> And one of this is a snot rag. I want to change this out for, I think it's called a cool cloth or cool cloth. I don't know. It's supposed to be like really soft on one side and a little abrasive on the other. I'm finding this is a little harsh on my nose. Um, and then this cloth is to clean up my hands when I'm getting that packed up. Because this can be wet and muddy and gross. Dragon stickers, you already saw that. I have a journal. I write in this every morning and I write in it every night. Like, I thought I wouldn't use this, but I do. So I, I use it a lot. And in here, I have a couple of, I have a pencil and eraser because I do draw. And an extra pen. This is my main pen. And I have, <laughs> I don't really know how to work my headlamp very well. So I have the, the owner's manual. It was the only manual I couldn't download on my phone. And then a copy of my passport. And even though I don't need it, I since I was going to be close to Canada or in case something happened with my grandma when I was gone, I could just get on a plane and go. So I do have um, stuff like that with me. And I have a copy of my travel insurance in here. And then let's see. Camp shoes. And then my rain jacket, marmot rain jacket, preset. Nike sports bra. I wear these socks mostly. They're darn tough. And my ultra shoes. The bag is staying here. I have my lucky trekking poles. That one I had to fix because this joint here kept on sliding down when I put weight on it. And my other trekking poles over there. And then I wear this long sleeve shirt and then my North Face puffy and I wear this smart wool hoodie this black t-shirt um, that I got from Walmart it's no boundaries not cotton <laughs> um, 
This is such a horrible way to do this. I'm so sorry. I wear a few pants. I know it's hard to see. Um, of course, a pair of underwear. And the other thing, original gear. This is Hightail Designs buff that I got for free when I bought the um, fanny pack. See some gear I'm adding. So I realized when I was washing clothes that I don't have anything to wear, particularly bottoms. And like I want to wash my sleep clothes too because those were smelly. So I decided to get town clothes since I'm going to be sending some of the clothes back anyways. And I need something cooler to sleep in. So at the thrift store yesterday, I picked this up for $2. It's just a dark purple Nike shirt. This one is cotton. But again, it's only going to be used for town slash maybe sleeping. Um, yeah, it'll be used for sleeping. And then I was at a campsite at Lance Creek specifically. And these shorts were just laying on a log and the, the girls that were camping there it wasn't there so I decided to pack them out and then while during that trip I decided to keep them and they fit really nicely and they're nice to wear with my sleeping bag when it's hot out and then health things I've added I've added one a day women's vitamins vitamin E to help um heal faster. I used to take this when I ran cross country to help my muscles heal faster. Yesterday I saw John and Jess and they put some of this Arnicare gel on my right Achilles tendon and I could immediately feel the difference. So I picked up my own um, tube of it. Oh my god, this stuff is amazing. Get some of this if you tend to have sore muscles. And of course, I have Ziplocs for my resupply. So yeah, I know that was a super quick video. Not very detailed. Me probably rambling the whole time. But um, I wanted to quick make a video before I started sending stuff home at the next um, resupply, which is in three to four days. Like Franklin isn't that far away. Um, because I will start to delete some of this stuff um the like traveling outside the bots I talked to them quite a bit and they had suggested I wait three weeks to make sure that I don't need anything you know just in case I hit cold weather and stuff but there's a few things I know for sure I will not use period <laughs> so I'll be sending those home and then after I get through the Smokies where I think it's, it might be a little bit colder I will send home any extra clothing that I don't need um and whatnot so Again, sorry for the messy video, but um, I wanted to do it while I had time. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So this big beast in my bag is full of food and everything and water. Because I, I, I want to just get up and go once I get to Dick's Creek in a half hour. Well, more like 45 minutes because my shuttle driver picks me up in a half hour. But now I know the meaning of... When people come out of town, they're like, their food, their bag's so heavy because of all the freaking food.